Okay, we're gonna play Journey to a Savage Planet. This is a how-to video to show you how to play the game. Okay, single player, choose a safe slot. Let's choose this one. I haven't started on this one yet. Okay. Alrighty then. Hi, my name is Martin Tweed, President and CEO of Kindred Aerospace. Thank you for joining the Pioneer Program. For almost 30 years, Kindred has been striving to help humanity expand beyond the confines of Earth. And I am excited to announce that many industry observers now consider us the fourth best interstellar exploration company. All right, cool stuff, buddy. Welcome. My name is Echo, and I'm here to help guide you on your mission. But first things first, please log into the computer and fill in a teeny weeny questionnaire, if you don't mind, so we can make sure you're not crazy. at all. And now you're ready to explore. Please walk downstairs and step into the teleporter while I will discombobulate you and then recombine you outside on this glorious new planet. Push the up button so you can get into scan mode. Look for anything that is brown so, in color. Uh, like that. And then you push well, RB to scan it. More detonation of rocks. This mission just got 100% more interesting and about 50% more lethal. Hey, your exploration the Java is provided with several small robotic drones that can perform basic scans of the world around you. Okay, 
You just scan you three items. The rest you'll leave, get back home. If you can't, congratulations, you're home already. This exterior panel must have been knocked loose on the street. Oh, that's a shame. Well, I'm sure I'll just scan like that and I'll put a marker to you where the next objective is. of getting carbon and silicone which you need to build stuff so these things are food for them you throw that with the right bumper button and then they eat that so they can fight out carbon that's the one way. Other way is to either kick them, you walk up to them, push X, and when they die, they release carbon. Or you can slap them. So X is slap and kick. Spawn, so you can either wait and get some more. If you hold X and then release it, that's a power slap. And if you press in the left stick, that's right. Every time you return to the javelin, you automatically deposit any resources you were carrying. Anything you drop outside the javelin, however, will stay there until you go and grab it with your meat hands. Okay, we can't create a gun yet. If you run and then push B, you do a slide and you can go under that. Or if you just push B, you're doing a crouch. Can't get through these purple things yet because you need a gun. Uh, let's scan these things. These crystals look extremely breakable. You can take a some and examine aggression on them. Nice work. You already have the required amount of carbon to craft a highly functional base level no my plasma pistol. The 3D printer inside the javelin is ready for your input. Okay, we can make a pistol. We'll get back to the station. You can craft an upgrade if you want it. Beat scratch, bat, and bristle, but it's way to your drive. Let's have a look here. Weapons. There we go. You need 60 carbon. Oh, 10 carbon, I got 60. 
Let's print that. Wow, we've got a pistol. And we can get some upgrades for it as well. Oh, we only got 50 out of 100. And this one requires also 100. This one requires 100. Okay, we'll have to come back for that. No problem. Once you get outside, the gun will equip in your hand. Temperature 90 degrees. Vital signs nominal. Basically, got unlimited ammo. Or it's actually charged, it's not ammo. And if you want to reload, just push the Y button. Scanning some new stuff. It may sound weird, but do you see a large power moving above you? I only ask because my system appears to be functioning correctly, but our initial scan said there should be no sign of intelligent life here at all, and that appears to directly contradict this idea. So this plant, if you need a hole, you must collect these things, I'll give you all. That thing you picked up was disgusting and squishy and bouncy. This thing you picked up, you throw it with RB, it allows you to jump. Message regarding the tower from our president and CEO, which is available for your viewing pleasure at the habitat. Please return as soon as you have a moment. Okay, do not turn into this plant's purple dust that makes you see funny things. Let me show you. Shoot the tree and it will disappear. There's some more cute, fuzzy little birds, but one of them are slightly different, so we'll re scan that. Where is it? Shoots it, it explodes. For well, now, we're going to keep the piece. If you push the side buttons, you can choose between the stuff that you picked up. What do you do here? Thank you. 
what happens with that one, like I said. There's a cave here. That drum and let's try quickly. Oh, yeah. oh, I made it. Nice. Let's quickly explore a bit here. Oh man, I fell off. Damn it. again. Yeah. Uh, these things, if you get three of them, then you level up. So eat it. Okay. 
through this door without it closing. Okay, I think we'll come back for that door later. Go this way. What have we got here? Let's quickly scan a bit here and see if there's anything. I think we've done that part. Jelly what basin. Do that. I quickly want to check something. here quickly there's the basin but I just quickly want to go this way this way I will look down here This is the same cave. We don't need to go all the way over. But yeah. Is there any food containers here close by? Let's have a look. Oh, I 
I think I actually saw some on the other side. I'm to get into that door then. Wasn't there some food there somewhere? No food anywhere? There's no food, and maybe we can just kick them over there. Quickly have a look. Go out, and then we'll go back, and then we'll respawn there. not slap it. Come back. Let's give it a minute. Try once more for the bird. Okay, we'll come back. Let's have a look. Run, 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 run. What you got here?